Hey guys, I am Yupeg I Pei come from Hong Kong. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your clan mate. Why we don't use the Dark Prince now? Wall Breaker and Bats are 4 elixirs and Bandit is 3 elixirs, so we just have 1 elixir advantage. We can wait for the opponent to move and use our troops to counter it. Why we use 3 Musketeers now? We lead the elixir a little bit. The Musketeer can kill the Valkyrie and the opponent will waste 4 elixirs. Moreover, the Wallbreaker deck always doesn't have a big spell to kill Musketeers. It is a Wallbreaker deck, what is our game plan now? Our deck is hard to stop Wallbreaker attack. We should keep an elixir advantage by using an elixir collector or sacrifice some tower hit points. Moreover, we should keep the split lane attack to take control of the game pace. The Valkyrie and Wallbreaker are coming, what should we do? We can take Wallbreaker tower damage to make an elixir advantage. The Miner attack the elixir collector. What can we do? We can use a giant snowball to knock back the miner to the princess tower. Why we split two musketeers to a lower hit point tower? If we can keep an elixir advantage to split three musketeers, we can control the pace and win the game. So the elixir collector is more important than the tower hit point, we should bait the opponent use spell on the two musketeers to protect the elixir collector. The wall breakers are coming. Should we use a giant snowball to defend? No, our right tower has a higher hit point. We should ignore the wall breaker and split the three musketeers to control the pace. Why we split the musketeer in front of the king tower instead of at the back? We want the musketeer help on defending the magic archer. Moreover, we would like to keep the split lane push so that we don't use melee troop to kill the magic archer. <laughs> 